Hey, it's Joel. These are marbles. These are just regular old, standard issue, had fun with them as a kid, marbles. Now, these are actually my son's marbles. David, I promise I'll get these back to you. But these are awesome because, well, I mean, they're marbles. But at the same time, I ran across something on Reddit that was splendid and wonderful, and it involved marbles and a crazy way to put them in motion. I really wanted to explore that and possibly GMAX size it. So why don't we get right to it? Right here. I'm 3D printing nerd. A portion of this episode is sponsored by Ridge. Head to ridge.com forward slash 3D printing nerd and stick around to the end to find out more. There you are, welcome back. This right here is what's called a marble kaleidoscope. I found it on Reddit and a post with, let me see, 95.1 thousand upvotes titled uh, 3D Printed Marble Machine by My Online 3D Printer. So here's how it works. You take a marble, you put it in, and then you lift up and down and the marble just kind of rolls and rolls and rolls because what's happening is um, there's like two sets of ramps and it's angled like this. And so as this is down, the marble comes here and it stops. And so as you pick it up, the marble rolls down here and then you pick it up. Uh, it's really hard to explain, but just watching it move. And then you can also add more. You can add more, look at that. Again, it takes a lot of dexterity and skill, both of which I am deficient in. So my online 3D printer then <laughs> is on Instagram with 169,140 likes at time of filming. And in the bio, there's a link to purchase this for 13 to 18 pounds. But more importantly, what I, what I wanna show you is the other two, cause there's a two lobe and a four lobe one. And these are actually by the artist uh, Yosuke Ikeda, posted June 5th called Marble Machine Kaleidoscope and posted to Thingiverse under the Creative Commons non-commercial license. Just take that information and, uh, and have a think on it and do with it what you will. These are printed in Atomic Filament Navy Blue PLA and these were printed on the CR6 SE from Creality. But look at, with these other two, it's, it starts to get really, really interesting. And here we go. <laughs> the marbles follow a path. So the big one, uh, the four lobe is actually pretty cool as well. Uh, I am running into an issue though, because I think what's happening, I think these marbles are slightly too big for the model at current size. And so what I want to do is set these aside and get out slightly larger versions. And they look like these. This is High Five Blue, 125% scale, printed on the Ultimaker 3. So slightly larger means, hopefully, the pathways for the marbles will be better. Already, we're getting a lot smoother motion, and that's because it looks like the marbles have more room to travel. The secret is lifting up and staying up until all have completed their motion and then putting down and waiting in the down position until all have completed their motion. If you do it just right, you can get some really, really fun motion. These are cool, right? The Ultimaker 3 did a good job and at 125% scale, they seem to work well for these marbles, but I had an idea. Because what's another spherical object that is ubiquitous around the globe that is like a marble? Sure, a bigger marble would work, but what's something that's more standard? Something with dimples. <laughs> what I'm talking about are golf balls. Here, let me get some. Here's a golf ball and here's a golf ball. You can tell that they don't really, <laughs> it doesn't fit in there. Let's make these golf balls sized. Why don't we? Why don't we scale this up to fit a golf ball and see what happens? So in order to do this, we're gonna to need to do a little bit of math. Don't worry, I've got you. 
The marbles themselves measure 16.2 millimeters in diameter. The golf balls I've measured at 42.7 millimeters in diameter. So this right here, this kaleidoscope at 125% scale, its diameter is 65 millimeters. And so according to math, if we, let's see, if we do uh, marble over golf ball equals 125% scale kaleidoscope over the eventual size that we would need. So if we, if we do that math, we end up with the diameter needing to be 171.3 millimeters. And if we represent that as a percentage of the original scale, we come up with a number that's close to 330% scale. So what we need to do is print one of these, not at 125%, but at 330% scale. So I did it, I did it. This was on the Ultimaker 3. This is 330% scale for the Kaleidoscope 1. It had some ickiness around the top and uh, unfortunately the filament failed or the Ultimaker failed at some point. So, so this is much better. This is High Five Blue right here, but this is on my TAS 6 that I have the It Works 3D Aero hot end on with that new spool holder. That worked great. Look at it. Oh, it's so good. So now at 330% scale, this should work. <laughs> okay, that works. That works just great. In fact, we can use more than one golf ball. <laughs> yes. Well now, okay, I'm left with an issue now because uh, these are sized up 100%, 125% and 330% scale. But what about this one? What about this one? Let's put these away. So this one, I didn't actually print a 125% scale representation, but we know that 330% scale of this will fit golf balls, right? Ho, 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 you bet. This is Halo Filaments, and this is done on the Raze 3D Pro 2 Plus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go, six golf balls. Okay, so 100%, 330% scale. So now though, we come up to this one and this one. What we need now is one of these at 330% scale. And the only machine I have capable of doing this is the G-Max 2 from G-Create. Uh, I went to print this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I went to print this and I posted a picture to Twitter and I was super excited about the whole thing. And then tragedy, tragedy struck. As I came into the studio, the print was on the floor and the hot end was engulfed in high five blue material. And there's that uh, giant blob around the hot end, there's some blob there. The BL touch is uh, not doing well. This is, I'm just really sad. <laughs> I'm just so sad. I was sad. And so while that's printing, uh, have a look. The hot end, look at that thing. It's, it's like, it's like an art piece, right? The, the filament itself, it engulfed the silicone sock on the E3D hot end. It engulfed the heater cartridge and the thermistor. And uh, when I was trying to remove the heat sink, the heat brake broke, and I was left with a gobbed up hot end and a fan shroud that had melted and a BL touch with the probe bent in 90 degrees. Thankfully, all of these parts are easily sourced and I was able to install the new E3D hot end and the new fan shroud that went, and the E3D hot end had the thermistor and it had the heater cartridge and I installed a new BL touch and I got that all patched up and going and with the freshly sanded build plate with PEI on it, I was, I, I went for it. I sliced it in Prusa slicer 
and I went with 0.3 millimeter layers and it went for two days and let's go get it off the build plate. So look, there's the high five blue on the bottom. And then the Maker Geeks filament. Getting it off the build plate wasn't uh, too bad. So originally, this GMAX 2 has a very pristine piece of PEI on the heated build plate. And I don't think it was able to grab onto the filament enough. And I talked to my buddy Dave, it printed solid, and, and I had sanded PEI before, and he said for a, a fresh sheet, you should just lightly sand it with 220 or above. So I did that, and I wiped it down with isopropyl alcohol, and then I put a few drops of Vision Miner's nanopolymer adhesive on it because I wanted it to stick. And here we go. This is it. 330% four track golf ball kaleidoscope. Let's do it. <laughs> works. It really, really works. Uh, I wonder, oh my gosh, it takes a lot of golf balls. This is awesome. There we go. We've done it. This is the marble kaleidoscope, slightly embiggened. And then G-Max size and all sorts of flavors. And I'm beyond happy with this. This is a bunch of fun. And honestly, I wanna see, I wanna see a version that would take bowling balls or beach balls or something. I don't even know if that's possible, but some undulating beach machine going up and down. Just, I think that would be really, really cool. Like if you were in one of those, um, the hamster balls, right? The inflatable ones. And you're in a machine like this, just kind of rolling and up and down. I think that'd be a scary amount of a lot of fun. But you know what? This was a bunch of fun. And I'm really glad we got to make this. And if you have someone who likes marbles in your life, print them one of these. And if you have the means, if you have someone in your life that likes golf balls, print them one of those. This part of the episode is sponsored by Ridge Wallet, and it comes at an interesting time because I want you just to look at my wallet. Just look at it. Just, just gaze upon it. It's glorious. It's blue duct tape, and it was made by a fan. The adhesive has started to come off. Uh, I had to use a piece of paper just so it would stop getting adhesive in my pocket. Uh, and on this side, you can see there's my latte stand stamp card. But all the places, um, it's, it's just, it's just kind of icky. And then in here, I have some receipts and some cash. And uh, the problem is the adhesive <laughs> sticks on the inside. And so this stuff, it's, it's terrible. I was looking for a new wallet. Ridge reached out and asked if they could sponsor some episodes on the channel. And I thought, I really got nothing to lose at this point. So they sent it over and it's kind of cool. Look at that. Look at this difference right here right here. This is the Ridge wallet. It's light, it's sleek, it's industrial. It doesn't fold, it doesn't create a Costanza bulge in your pocket. Oh, look at this thing. It's, it's huge. Stats on the wallet. It holds up to 12 cards. It comes in 30 styles and colors. It's got a lifetime warranty. And the best part, if you order from Ridge, they will give you 45 days to test drive it. And that's important because an everyday use sort of thing really takes time to get to know. They also sent one for my, my bros. So uh, David got his and he's gonna give it a try while he's cycling. He's, he's an avid cycler and so he's gonna give that a try. So the great thing about this is it's compact, I've got everything in it and I can just drop it right in the back of my kit. Bam, you can't really see that, but there's a little pouch in the back and I don't even feel like I have a wallet on me or anything. I can carry everything that I need to go do a ride. Sean actually got a new puppy. Wow. 
and he's really excited because his bulky wallet now might not get in the way while he's taking his puppy for a walk. Hey, so the tornado, or the puppy, the puppy is asleep. Uh, so I'm being pretty quiet right now, but uh, you know, here's what I'm coming from, this old big guy. And then here is what we've got now. Plenty of room for the cards, the necessities, right? And then the bankroll in the back. And remember, keep the big bills on the outside. It's a five. <laughs> David, Sean, and myself will be trying these out and we'll let you know how we get along with them. But so far, look at that. The money clip is cool. It holds the cards. Like if I just want to get a card out, there we go. I get a card out and then it slides right back in. We're good to go. Ridge.com forward slash 3D printing nerd and then use code 3D printing nerd to get 10% off your order. Uh, that link's in the description as well. Just don't forget to use the code when you order to get 10% off and free shipping worldwide. I can't wait to hear if you pick one of these up, tag me in the Twitters if you do and take a picture with a wallet selfie, just like that. And then we'll see you uh, on the other side. Again, ridge.com forward slash 3D printing nerd. Use code 3D printing nerd to get 10% off and worldwide shipping full free. Back to the episode. Well, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Thanks for all your support across various platforms. And don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and as always, from a safe distance. High five.